Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be going over how to create a data mapping within your Salesforce survey. So now a few items of housekeeping that we do need to talk about first with regards to surveys. One, you need to have surveys enabled, of course. Two, you need to have the, I believe it's the feedback management license from Salesforce in order to have the advanced settings of which field mapping is one of them. And then finally, well, if you do have that management license, you need to have a permission set assigned to you or the user or whomever's creating the survey, the advanced features of the survey, and you need to have this specific permission assigned to your user. So keep that in mind when you are creating the data map or trying to create the data map. Let's go ahead and hop into a survey. And I will show you how to create it. So actually, let's go back and open latest version. Okay, so I am going to, I've got, there's this basic um, customer satisfaction survey. One thing that I do wanna do is that I've, I want to create, essentially, if the customer would like to hear more or would like to purchase more products, then go ahead and create an opportunity based upon the information. Um, I'm going to hit edit or add a page. And then I am going to, let's go ahead and do a like or dislike. And then I'm gonna change the icon to a yes, no. Say, would you like to purchase additional products from our company? All right, and so they can choose the yes, no. I'm gonna hit save just to keep save and so I don't lose stuff. And then under here, advanced settings, I'm gonna to go to survey data mapping, and then I'm going to create a new map. All right, I'm gonna have this be create new op as the name of it. Um, we've got a couple of options. Of course, we're gonna go with create a record. You can also update a record, send a custom notification as well. I am going to have the target object be opportunity. And now I don't necessarily like how this is set up because it's having you map it and then choosing the conditions. I think contextually, it makes more sense to choose the conditions first. So I'm gonna do the conditions. Of course, our conditions in logic in order to have this data map work is going to be your response to a question. Um, would you like to purchase additional products? Equals yes. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and do the data mapping. So we've got a couple of different things. We've got a close date here. So we do need to specify a close date and that might be a little tricky. Um, I'm just gonna have this be, let's say December of 2024. Currently it is July of 2023. So that way it gives it plenty of time and hopefully people know that when this survey is completed that, that they need to change that date. And then we have the name, which is going to be either like a response to a question. So something that would have been really good to ask in a previous question is, please tell us more about you or your company. And then you'd be able to grab that here. I am going to just have the name be string and just put a note here to replace with um, survey user. So that's a little note for me to go back in the survey and create a little name or company information box or value box that we can grab that name for the opportunity for. And then we'll do stage. I'm going to do needs analysis because I don't necessarily think it could be prospecting. Essentially, this customer is already, it's a hot lead. And so you can go ahead and create the opportunity and they do want to purchase more. I am going to, here we can add some more field. I might add a description. So in case it's a response to a question, we had a previous question that said, essentially, if they had a bad experience, why? Um, I want to put that in the description or we could have added that as a new field on the opportunity and then mapped it that way. So other things that might be useful here, maybe you could put this as a campaign or maybe the survey as the lead source that could be helpful as well. I am going to get rid of this field here, but with that being said, let's go ahead and save this. And there we go, we've successfully created a new data mapping within our survey. So once this is essentially live and it's sent out to our person or our survey participant, then if they say yes, they do wanna purchase more, it will create a new opportunity with all of this information. That's why it could be useful to be able to grab some more 
contextual information about the person who's taking the survey to be able to have more information for this opportunity. But thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the courses down below or on Salesforce Upskill. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.